Hi everyone, even though Microsoft Teams is an incredibly complete platform, I know that most of you just use it for the video calls and the chat messages. So today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite Microsoft Teams features that you can access without leaving Teams chat. Let's go. As you can see, I've fired up Microsoft Teams and I'm going into chat. I'm in my friend Miriam's account. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can use the loop component. I'm clicking the plus and I'm selecting collaborate with loop. Now I have a bunch of different loop component options, but for this one, I'm selecting voting table. Now, let me put in a title and some ideas for people to vote on. And remember, you can send these out to group chats as well, not just individual messages. And for this one, I'm going to vote on the first option as Miriam. So let me just send it to the chat. And the beautiful thing about these is these are not just static charts. You can change these uh, in real time. I can even change my own vote. Now, the second thing I want to show you is how you can adjust urgency in your messages. Once again, clicking the little plus and selecting delivery options. Now, once I click urgent, Look, it just gives this big notification and uh, it will notify the recipient uh, every two minutes or 20 minutes. So this is great for any of your urgent messages. And we can do something similar by tagging our messages as important. So I'm typing a message and before the message itself, I'm clicking Control, Shift and I. Once I do that, it marks the message as important. And once again, I can put my message in, select send, and now we've sent an important message. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how you can schedule a meeting inside Teams chat without going into calendar. All you need to do is once again, click the little plus and select schedule a meeting. Now, this is the classic Teams meeting page. and This is where you can just create a meeting. Now, another thing I want to show you is how you can integrate some apps inside your Teams chat. Now, I'm clicking the plus and I'm going to be using the TeamFlect app. If you don't have it, you can just search for it and add it inside your chat. I have it already, so I'm clicking TeamFlect. And this app lets you do a lot of things inside Teams chat. I'm clicking new TeamFlect goal and look, I'm creating a goal now. I'm putting in a title and a description and some uh, goal measurement options right here uh, some custom dates here as well and once i've set a date or just pick a related option i can just create and look i've just created a goal using a performance management solution for microsoft teams teamflect inside teams chat so and once i press send look she has her goal now Another cool thing we can do with TeamFlect inside Teams chat is I can click the plus again and select new TeamFlect recognition and use TeamFlect to send recognitions inside Teams chat. So I'm selecting great, the great job badge, putting in my note and sending the recognition. Done. It's in my chat, chat box. I can check it and send it right away. Now, you, saw, you probably saw some other options inside the Team Flight button, but let me show you something really cool. Uh, let me send Megan a message, right? So conduct a competitor, competitor analysis. And if I click the ellipses right here, I can turn this message into a task without ever leaving chat. So I have the task title right here. It's the message I sent. I can set a due date and due time and we don't need a recurrence on this one and once I click create look the task has been sent and again it's in my chat box and I'll just click send and there it is she just received a task another really cool aspect of teams chat that people seem to gloss over a lot is the bar on top if you go into files you can see all the files you've exchanged with this individual and if there aren't any you can just upload files right here this turns your little Teams chat box into a great collaboration hub. And if you go into organization, you can see your organizational hierarchy and how you relate to these people inside your organization. 
Another great way to use the top bar is to use it to integrate apps into Teams Chat. So by clicking the plus, I can add some new apps. And the same way I did for the bottom one, I'm writing Team Flect and I'm adding Team Flect to the top tabs section. Uh, all I have to do is click save now. And this will give you Team Flect's user profile section. And if you're a Team Flect user, you can access goals, meeting information, tasks, and all sorts of good stuff through Teams Chat. Now I'm going back to chat, and the last thing I want to show you are all the shortcuts. All right, I'm, for example, let me go into the little chat box, and if I click Control Shift and X, I've just enlarged the chat box and I've enabled rich text features. So another shortcut I can show you is I can press Control N and this gives me a new chat and I can just add as many people as I want to. So let's add Ali Larson. So yeah, that's how you can start a new chat using a shortcut. Now, the last thing I want to show you is something that'll make your life very easy. I'll go into my chat with Diego and inside the chat, I'll press Control Shift and C and this immediately calls Diego through a shortcut. And since I know that most of you use Teams primarily for calls and chat, I feel like this will really help out. That brings us to the end of this video. What did you think? What did I miss? Just let me know in the comments. Guys, we release helpful Microsoft Teams content like this one every single week. Subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And if you want to schedule a free demo with TeamFlex, you can always click the link in the description. Have a great day.